Paul Williamson has established himself as a pianist on the rise. Having recently completed his bachelor's degree at the University of Manitoba, he was accepted into the studio of Fabio Bedini and began study at the prestigious Colburn School in fall 2018. Paul is the winner of the 2018 Women's Musical Club of Winnipeg Top Prize, a $3,000 scholarship, and headlines the winner's recital this coming Sunday. He has joined me in the Diamond Lane for a conversation just after this 107 Live performance. And now from our studios in downtown Winnipeg, it's time for 107 Live. Live in the Diamond Lane, you just heard the playing of Paul Williamson. Paul, that was that was gorgeous. That Ravel was just, it was breathtaking. Thanks, thanks so much for doing that. Thanks, Simon. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back here in the studio. I mean, you're really getting the most out of that Yamaha hybrid over in the corner. I mean, you're really exploring the full range of the sound. So that being said, last time you were in, you, you were playing on that, that portable electric. Do you remember that? Right, yeah, this time was definitely an upgrade. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a piano you won't play on? Um... I mean, in performance, I, you probably don't want to play on an electric keyboard yeah. in a concert necessarily, right? Or I have to be 
pretty careful what I program for something like this. Mm-hmm. Like obviously I can't be playing something super fast because the action just won't respond fast enough. Yeah. But most pianos are pretty good, so. Well, I think uh, we all appreciate your playing, uh, well, anything out there. I remember the sure. Chopin just uh, earlier this year was one of my favorite performances here in the studio, in fact. And then Thanks. that, of course, rivals it. Um, mm-hmm. So since you were last in studio, you, you mm-hmm. finished up the bachelor's degree at the, the U of M with Dr. David Morose, mm-hmm. and you've made the move from Winnipeg to Los Angeles. Yeah. What's that been like? Uh, it's a lot different. So uh, LA is different than I expected. Oh, really? Um, in I'm what in way? A, uh, it's a big city, but, well, it just takes a long time to get anywhere, right? So yeah. the traffic is really bad. Um, the area I'm in is really, really nice. So Colburn is right in the middle of Financial District. So, uh, I mean, across the street, there's Walt Disney Concert Hall. I go That's see incredible. performances there. Yeah, it's really, it's really <laughs> quite special. So No kidding. Um, so, I mean, for listeners who don't know, and for myself as well, uh, the Colburn School is, is pretty prestigious. Why? Well, That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. no kidding. Uh, wh- why did you choose to apply there? Um, well, I wasn't even, honestly, I wasn't even aware they offered a master's of music program until the summer before I applied Hmm. and they have a phenomenal teacher who began teaching there a few years ago, Bedini. He used Mm -hmm. to teach at, um, Hans Eisler in Germany. Yeah. So when I heard that they offered a program, I was like, oh, why not just apply? Right. And then I got in and. So I went. <laughs> so so tell us a little bit about working with, with Fabio Bedini. What, what's he like? Uh, he's a great teacher. So um, he is super inspiring as a musician and a pedagogue. Like he is, he's an unbelievable teacher, and but he's also just such a good pianist. Yeah. He can play anything. So. Yeah, he's a pretty big deal, isn't he? <laughs> I'm happy to be in a studio for sure. Uh, so um, just out of curiosity, how many are in his studio? I mean, Colburn itself is a very prestigious institution. What about his studio? Um, so he has about 13, maybe 14 in his studio mm-hmm. in the conservatory level. And I think he has like six students in academy. Wow. So he, he's, a, he's a busy guy. There's and, a lot of performing as well. And so uh, apart from studio, what's what's this first semester been like? I mean, obviously you, you, you mentioned that, that move from Winnipeg to LA, not being quite what you expected. Right. What's the rest of the semester been like for you? Um, oh, academically, Colburn is pretty light compared oh. to other schools. So you have so you have a lot of you have a lot of time there, but you have to schedule it well, right? Because, you know, any place that's set up like Colburn where they just try to make things as convenient as possible for you, it's easy to not structure yourself Mm -hmm. if everything else is not structured as well right so um yeah i just try to be productive and do my most to practice and do a lot of i've been accompanied a bit so that's been pretty good yeah i I, i'm I'm curious you know you say that academically it's a, perhaps a little bit lighter that then mm-hmm. leaves the, the the stress and the importance on on performance then right? right so what type of rep are you you tackling these days um well this past semester i was working on uh chopin's third sonata and uh, the revels on a team that yeah. you just heard and um a bach toccata and uh some beethoven uh this next semester I'll be learning uh, Brahms' first piano concerto and Gaspard de la Nuit by Ravel and... Yeah, an easy one. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the most um, challenging works in the repertoire, in fact. Yeah, uh, one will take some practicing. Yeah, no doubt. And then um, Mozart's C minor concerto and uh, Scraben's Six Sonata. So. so it sounds like you're, you're traversing a, a number of centuries, and I, I know that your now, now teacher does as well, Fabio Bedini. He also, he has something like, I was looking online, he has something like 84 concerti that he can perform. Yeah, he has a huge repertoire, and pretty much anything he learns, he has it rock solid in his memory for forever, so... <laughs> It's yes. <laughs> pretty incredible. Yeah. How, how does that rub off on you? Do you feel like that, that same type of motivation to just tackle anything? Uh, it's inspiring to see, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I mean, he really pushes the students to work on stuff that will challenge them and, you know, make them improve. So so, so here you are back in Winnipeg. I have to ask, is, is there anything in particular you miss about Winnipeg or anything that you must do when you, you get back here? Um, well... You miss the people here, yeah. so there's something really friendly about Winnipeg, honestly. And mm-hmm. like LA, it's sunny every day, but 
I don't mind seeing some snow too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just good to be back. It's and good to be back. Well, no kidding. So, so you're here back performing with the, the WMC scholarship winners recital. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, just earlier this year, I saw you perform that Barber Sonata that we talked about when mm-hmm. we were last in uh, that that challenging piece of music, uh, the flashy fugue, the conclusion for Horowitz. Right. What are you going to be performing this time around on Sunday? Uh, so I'll be playing uh, Après une lecture de Dante, Fantasia quasi sonata. So mm-hmm. it translates after a reading of Dante. A fantasy sonata is by the list. It's by list, the Hungarian pianist, and it's um, based on uh, the Dante Alighieri's um, Inferno, right? Mm-hmm. So that's just sort of the basis for the work. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, in in that time period, it was not uncommon to attend like a reading of poetry and this is what list was inspired to write after hearing a reading of dante so and it's quite the work isn't it yeah, it's uh, a, fiery it's a, might be one uh, word that comes to mind it's a big play so I, i've played it quite a bit before and the time limit for the performance for our performances is 17 minutes and this piece happened to be 17 minutes so i was like well this works perfectly <laughs> <laughs> well well no doubt it should be a thrilling performance uh, paul i want to thank you so much for coming by classic 107. yeah thanks for having me again uh, so i i know you're going to be doing uh, one more number a little bit of holiday cheer for us here in the mm-hmm. diamond lane what are you, you going to be playing uh oh christmas tree well here it is uh, live in the diamond lane as paul takes his seat back at our uh, yamaha new one x hybrid piano uh, performing uh, oh tannenbaum Live in the Diamond Lane, the iconic music of Vince Guaraldi. For uh, those who still have their Christmas trees up on uh, this December 28th, you just heard O. Tannenbaum. Paul Williamson, one of the six scholarship recipients that you can see in recital on Sunday, 2 p.m. at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Uh, the six winners of the 2018 Women's Musical Club of Winnipeg Scholarship Auditions will receive uh, more than $11,000 worth of scholarships as well as performances. For more information, visit Women's Musical Club of WPG.com. From our studios in downtown Winnipeg, you've been listening to 107 Live, Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, the soundtrack for your life.